Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use ChatGPT, the original website of the ChatGPT, now powered by new version, new model, ChatGPT 4.0, to analyze and to interact with the documents, academic papers, etc. For that, I'm going to use one of my own papers and uh, the prompt that I wrote, that I crafted, and I will also drop three different prompts, short prompts, in the description. If you want, you can check and you can use them, but of course, you can adapt them to your own needs. And let us start. First of all, so ChatGPT, the OpenAI, the developer of the ChatGPT, announced new model uh, now a couple of uh, days or weeks ago now. And this GPT for all model is the newest and most advanced model. It is very fast. I tested it a lot. It is a really fast one. And the, the outcome, the results is pretty impressive. It can even find the sources. <laughs> Previously, ChatGPT was fabricating the hallucinating a lot, but now it is uh, it can find sources as well. But today I'm going to check how it can analyze the paper and answer my questions for that. I will only ask one question, but you can ask more, but I want to show you how you can do that. Let's upload my paper. So, and here is the prompt. Identify the key findings and implications of this article. So basically this article is about the veto power of the permanent members of the Security Council of United Nations. And let's say how it replies to me. I almost know the content of this article by heart since I wrote it. and. So let's say key findings, veto power under global peace, the veto power vested in the permanent members through the recent events such as Russia's veto against the resolution. That's true, that happened in 2022. And structural, structural challenges to the UN Charter, the current UN Charter makes it extremely difficult to amend. That's also true, the Article 27, Article 108, that's true. And historical context and recent proposal and debates. Let us see if implications for international law and governance, the misuse of veto power undermines the credibility and effectiveness of the UN Security Council, that's also true. This answer is a really nice one, and I like, I do really like the structure. So here, again, there's another heading or subheading implications, need for reforms, that's also true, that's covered in the paper, and I think it is doing a pretty nice job. Of course, you can tweak the prompt, you can uh, do a, a bit broader request and it can answer you a bit uh, differently and comprehensive comprehensively and then so just check the prompts in the description and if you want you can use them you can modify them as per your wish but with chat gpt and all with ai tools it is important to to play with uh, prompt engineering the prompting and for that we did a nice webinar with professor leonard nake and in this webinar we covered different techniques and tactics for prompt engineering from Professor Leonard Nake, and also we covered 15 different AI tools for academic purposes. If you want, you can also get your certificate. Please do check that. The link will be in the description as well. And you will, all, you will also get all this by getting this webinar. I hope you will also like it because our participants really like it. Please feel free to read the comments, the testimonials they wrote for us. And so that's basically it for today's video. Thank you for your time. If you like this video, please hit like button. And if you want to support and want to see more videos from my channel in the future, please hit subscribe button.